YouTubers, Shell Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. I've had to postpone my pyrotechnic activities for the past couple weeks. As you may have seen on the news, the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina and Tennessee have been under drought and wildfire conditions for some weeks now. Huge wildfires are spreading across the Smoky Mountains and destroying vast amounts of homes, businesses, large tracts of trees and forests. It's a terrible thing. And I've had to postpone any of my pyrotechnic activities for the danger of igniting more wildfires. But luckily, we've had a couple days of light rain and things are dampened down. And I really hope that's helping the firefighters with their most dangerous job of fighting these numerous wildfires. You may have seen my one gram flash firecrackers that I've been making. I've set off these against some trees and been doing lots of experiments with them. They're very powerful. They're about 20 times more powerful than a consumer grade firecracker. In today's experiment, I'm going to use two of these one gram flash firecrackers against this half inch piece of particle board. All right, experiment number one, firecracker on said piece of particle board. Second experiment, it's been suggested to me by a subscriber that I use a bag of water to help shape the charge. And I'm going to test his advice today. I don't remember the user's name, I really look for you. If you're that person who suggested I use a bag of water to help shape these charges, then please let me know in the comments below. I'd like to give a shout out to you. But first, we're going to test the unshaped charge against the half inch piece of ply board. Let's get started. Test number one, unshaped one gram flash firecracker. See how much damage it can do to this half inch piece of particle board. Pretty impressive amount of damage for an unshaped charge there. It doesn't look like much there, but if you look on the other side, it did almost punch through. Let's see what it does with the shape charge. This bag of water, you may ask, where did I get such a little bag of water? This is the bag of water that comes in the instant cold packs that I used to make my Tannerite video. You know, you squeeze the inner bag. I saved those bags. I knew it'd be good for something one day. Okay, this will be the shape charge test. I've got an exact same type of firecracker centered under this bag of water. Let's we'll see what we get. Wow, 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 wow. Look at the difference. 180 grams of water in a small bag on top of that firecracker has reshaped that shock wave and the force downward into the piece of wood. No shaping. Shaping with a tiny bag of water makes a huge, huge difference. This gives me tons of ideas now because, you know, I've been trying to take out that tree out there with a firecracker and not a giant firecracker just the, the right amount of firecracker to take out that tree just the right amount of force but that's amazing firecrackers are no joke pyrotechnics are no joke please don't ever try these things at home you know I make these videos to entertain and to educate they're not for you to emulate and if this powerful of a firecracker were to get into the wrong hands of someone who's a novice who doesn't understand the power of it. Imagine if that was your hand. Imagine if that was your face. Please, please don't ever try this at home. If you like that video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, they go down below in the comments. If you think a friend would like to check it out, then please share it and subscribe to my channel. But only if you think I've earned it.